Tahiatu. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Apna 36. This is Talanoa Sa'o. So welcome, welcome. And I have a very special guest here. This is actually a special episode. A lot of our people who are Tongan have been calling in, contacting us, asking, hey, hey, where's all the Tongans? So, fine, here you go, right? This is for you. Uh, our tokos out there, this is uh, something that has been asked for so many times. We've got a very special guest. This is Alani Taoni. And in fact, in the way that we always start, we're going to start with a bit of prayer, a bit of lotu. And I would love for Alani to maybe start us off in that. Thank you. Dear Jesus, thank you once again for brought us here together. May your blessings be upon us and mm. also our listeners um, tonight. Give each and every one an understanding so that we can uh, accept you as our Savior and mm. our Lord. And may the message that we are about to present may be a healing and a Time for everyone to turn and come back to you in your precious name. Amen. 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 So, thank you for joining us. It's really great to have you here, Alani. Thank you. It's our blessings. And we know that we've seen an awesome viral clip, awesome <laughs> viral clip going online all over the place. It has not just gone viral here in New Zealand. It's also gone viral in Samoa and in Tonga. And we even have hearings in Australia and even in the U.S., so well done, Thank good you. job. But first off, for those of our people who don't even know who you are, would you mind just giving us a just a very brief account of, of who you are and where you come from? Thank you very much. I think to each and every one of you that you don't know me, my name is Alani Fisher Tayone. I'm a Tongan. I was brought up back in Tonga and I came here in 1986, 87. Oh, awesome. And with the, as we, know that we brought up in a monarchy country, mm. a kingdom. Uh, we have, um, for me, I'm, I'm a loyal to the monarchy, and that's where I, my life has been, and even up to now. Mm. You know, for, but my main problem is any corruption that is appear anywhere where I am, my blood starts to boil, <laughs> you know, and I can't stand it. I'm one of those people that, I can't keep my mouth shut when there's something wrong. It yes. needs to be addressed and need to be fixed straight away. Mm -hmm. And that's me. And, and I, I also happen to know that, in fact, your blood has boiled so much so that even on occasion, I have even heard of you years oh, and years ago. So uh, just for you guys out there who may not be fully aware of who Alani is, Alani is not just here for that viral clip. He has a history and a record of standing up for democracy and standing against Corruption. So, would you like to tell us uh, something about a car maybe <laughs> smashing into a fence or something uh, like this? I think uh, you might bring it up <laughs> later or, or on the clip, uh, you know, for the people to, who want to know more about me. But yes, um, this, uh, like what I said before, I believe in, um, um, in the monarchy and being. Uh, loyal to each and every one. Mm. I'm a, a loyal support, uh, and you know, to anybody who are in, in, in power or in any area, mm. uh, even at work, you know. But uh, when there's something the people will cry foul about, mm. and there's no attention to it, that's when I realize that someone has to to do the. Uh, daily works, mm. you know, some people they like, oh, we just wanted to stay clean mm. until someone do it for us, you know. But for me, um, I'm a guy that I do that. Mm -hmm. I love to go to jail. I love to die for the people. Yeah. Yep. And, and yep. I will do it. I was born to be like that. Mm. I was born to be a leader mm. and I will stay as, as a leader. And I know <clears> that uh, in the Tongan kingdom, there has been some strong pro-democracy pushes right. very recently. We've recently, it wasn't long ago, when we had the death of that great man from Tonga, uh, Bohiva. At least Bohiva. Uh, and, and I understand that there's actually a link between you two. Did you guys know each other? What's the relationship there? Yes, um, I just um, came after. Because I, at the time when um, um, Bohiva started uh, push for democracy in Tonga, mm -hmm. Mm. Uh, 
it wasn't really uh, meaningful to me at the time. But because I was educated in Tonga and brought up in a uh, country where Christianity and we um, uh, give um, respect to our elders mm. and people in power. But um, I keep an eye on what he's trying to say, you know. And then when I uh, came over to New Zealand and then I realized um, there's two parts of me, you know, I still love the monarchy and the nobles and the people, but um, then I come here and then I saw how democracy is, um, is um, it's give mm. us more freedom to speak out, mm. Mm. you know. Um, and then I can see, I've, I go back and try to listen to what he's uh, doing, whether it's any, uh, any truth in mm. it. Then I realize, yeah, what he's saying, there's some truth in it. But he's been pushing for almost 40 years for Tonga to become more democratic government, you know. And within the 30 years, he almost, um, I would say, that's what he, he's, um, uh, um, and I quote him, that's what he told me and my followers, that without what we did, he won't be on the seat as a prime minister. Mm, mm. He will die. And that's it, you know, he won't see what democracy is going to be look like. Mm, mm. So, uh, but the purpose of me going in and support him just because of the corruption that is, is what I'm saying, you mm. know. I don't care what government you are in, but no corruption. I don't want um, the freedom of speech or the freedom of the, uh, your right to be a parent to be taken off, Oy. stripped mm. off from you, yep. you know. And that's where my problem is. Mm. So that, that actually leads us into quite a strong part because we've, we've seen the viral clip that you're on and we'll be posting that up for you to have a look at. There's some r great funny stuff in there and there's some real serious things alongside it as well. Yes. So we know that as Pacifica people, as a group, we're the only group in the entire country of New Zealand who will vote for one party, which is Labour. Labour. You, that viral clip you did, show that you oppose them. So why? What is it about Labour? What's going on? Why have you sort of come away from them? For us Pacifica people, you know, we love Labour mm. and we endorse Labour because Labour Party used to uh, look after and respect the right of the parents uh, living in a good family. Mm. You have your rights as a family to look after. And I would emphasize a family means a father, a mother, and a ah, children, yep. you know? Mm. Not a, a man and a man or a woman and a woman. That's mm. not a family, mm. you know? Uh, whether I'm a Christian or not, but that's, the whole world knows that, yep. you know? It's either in uh, any more uh, world, there is a male and a female and a children yep. in order to, to create some more, mm -hmm. you know? Um, on a human beings, we still still the same, mm. you know? But because I can see uh, labor uh, started to introduce some weird, you know? Um, and for me in my uh, term, and I call it criminal act, mm. you know, bringing in to suppress and take away my right as a parent. Ah, mm. And that's why I walk away. And that's so sad to see our Pacifica people supporting Labour. Mm. Labour is no longer a family uh, value um, um, government that look after us like before. Mm. Mm. Now it's more focused on something, uh, I would say it's more on the gay side. Mm. You know, they introduced this, some weird laws. Ah, you, know, you mean like a yeah. vision therapy bill, yeah. uh, uh, same-sex marriage, uh, abortion, abortion, abortion. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yep. those things. If we ask ourselves, is this uh, Christ, Christ, uh, Christianity? Mm, is mm. this a family values? Mm. I would say no. Mm. I would say this is a criminal act introduced to our family values, mm. and it's take away our right as parents. You know, and I'm, and that's why I'm against it, mm. and I'm, I'm really upset that I didn't, I can see our people 
is not well educated. They pretend that they do good things for our people, mm. not only for, for the Pacific Island, mm. for the whole nation. Mm. There's some good people around that they feel mm. what Taliban is doing is wrong, mm. you know? So, so then, so those are the policies, those are the laws that are passing, that they've already passed and that they're starting to pass more of. That's what you're talking about. Yes. What about the performance or the, the event, the Dawn Raids apology, uh, and, and how, you know, you had the Fongo or the, the modified Fongo and, and how did, what are, what are your thoughts there? I, I would say it's a mockery, mm. you know. Uh, it's a joke mm. because if it's uh, sincere and serious, the government is accepting, uh, acknowledge that there's this uh, down right, they make a mistake. The first thing that they should address is our overstayers people. Mm. It's not only Pacific Island people. There's some European people in here, they are overseas. I'm not talking about one particular um, um, community. Mm. I'm talking about all the overstayers, you know, just because it was single out the Pacific Island people, so they black, mm -hmm. and it's easy to target them, mm. you know, but they, they, can't, they don't know who, if you are white, you know, where you're from, you might be a New Zealander, mm. but after all, you're from uh, Europe or America. So for me, turn right, the first thing this government should do is to ex uh, apologize and give amnesty to all the overstayers. Mm. The good things about it, it will be um, increase the economy on the side where proper tax is going to be paid. Mm. They have a legal uh, standard here in New Zealand to continue on work. We see they ask for more people to, to, to work, mm. but no labor. Mm. You know, if these people are, are, um, are give them a legal stand, status to, to live in New Zealand, then we don't need some more people coming from overseas. Mm. They might bring some more uh, of this uh, COVID-19. <laughs> and, you, you know, yep. so yep. should do the first thing for the Labour government mm. should do now is to look after itself, um, it, the it's people household, in the country, so in right. the, inside the country. Mm. You know, and, and I think that uh, yeah, in census it's come up quite a lot in terms of the overcrowding in the homes and, and all of those uh, pieces around it. So we've only got a couple more minutes left. In terms of that, in terms of your future, is it would it be fair uh -huh. to think about uh, what's going on? What, what are you sort of thinking as, in terms of the future? As I was stating on my um, my challenge to the uh, Labour Party and the Prime Minister, that I'm forming a new political party, mm. eh? and. I, I got all the document now, oui. um, um, and I, I'm working on it. Mm. So I'm drawing up a new political party, and it's going to be called People's First Party, mm. which is mean it will address the needs and the values of the um, uh, family values. Mm. You know, all these laws is gonna that is happening now will put a break straight away as soon as we in the government. We put a brakes on it, mm. and we reverse it. We will throw it out. Definitely, we will throw it out. Oh. You know, mm. it's not gonna uh, again exist in, in the people's first mm. um, government. Oh, look, uh, Alani Taoni, thank you so much for coming in. We're absolutely honoured to have you here, and we'll definitely have you on again. We would love for you to come back, and we can have more chats. Uh, after the break, you're going to Five Fui Hawaii. We'll come on with a pastor. He's going to speak some more truth into you. Uh, thank you so much for our Tongan brothers and sisters out there who've been messaging us all the time. Uh, you know, this one is uh, big time for you. So God bless you, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Elliot. Thank you, Alani, for that excellent uh, segment. And as we uh, continue, uh, we're here with our special guest, and I'll allow him to introduce himself. Thank you, Babali'i. Um, be blessed to be here. And like he says, it's a, a blessing for us, especially me, to be here with you. Um, on my side, I am a Christian. So, go hingwa go selo astoman, go fokamadamak i he says Wesleyan Tawatai na Tonga, Free Western Church of Tonga in New Zealand. Uh, malo. Malo, malo, Celo. Uh, and just to uh, give you a little bit of Celo's background, uh, he was with the Tongan military 
of the Tongan Army for 10 years. Um, in 2004, he was deployed to the Solomon Islands for peacekeeping uh, missions. Uh, 2016, he became the Tongan church youth leader. Um, and in 2018, he became evangelist leader and youth inspector. So, uh, welcome, Celo. Uh, we're going to have an interesting um, uh, back and forth, myself and Celo, because this will be the first time that we actually ask the questions in English. And because Celo uh, feels more comfortable in answering in Tongan, He's going to go ahead and, and answer in his own language. Uh, but before we get to that, I just wanted to make a quick, quick comment about what's going on in Afghanistan. Last week, we spoke about the significance of elections having consequences. And uh, we also talked about kabuki theater or political theater uh, in regards to the Don Ray's apology. Well, what you're seeing right now is the result of kabuki theater falling apart. Because this is the danger of what political theater is. They make you believe one thing, and in truth, reality is completely different. So what I, I just wanted to end with this com uh, regarding this comment, because I wanted to say that this is, this is very fresh in the minds of individuals. If you see the people falling off the planes, all of those kind of things, this should remind you that you know, elections have consequences. So let's get back to what we were talking about here, uh, Celo. Um, so I have just a, a, a series of questions that I want, want to ask you. And um, the first question is, what do you know about abortion? And what do you think the Bible has to say about abortion? Malobito, babali. Eh, but I'm here today to deliver straight away the message to anyone in the Tongan community. Hangego ko ko fatala noa ko ha lau <laughs> eto hitapu ki abosin pe ko fatata otama. O go tui ta eto veveu ki hitala noa e folofola ko fatata otama ko tama te tangata ya pe ko yang halai. Malo. Malo malo. Well, uh, the second question that I have to to ask you is the Labor Party is responsible for so many laws that appear to be anti-Christian, uh, such as abortion, uh, same-sex marriage, uh, euthanasia, and now they're talking about uh, conversion therapy and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, why do you think our Pacific people, Tongan, Samoan, uh, why do why do we still continue to support them, even though we as Christians are Christian, mm -hmm. and what they are passing are are laws that are anti-Christian? Malo bito papali ko eh hawak mo kaya nga ko siya pa lao ko fukodu pero ko siya ay nga hilao fukang nga ko si fukodu iya eh eh party lepa ko ko iya ni ako ke faka manatu pe me ago tau mahino ke tau to ko tau mo ifaka kristiane oku fe paki malo au pito au pito e tau tui lotu mo tau tui faka kristiane pe mo nga hi la ko ni ko ale ai first reading to e u pe mo to me ani te tau loto ke hoko ko la ai faka to tama ai 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 
ai mari ai tangata mo tangata mo fefine mo fefine mo ete fili ko akita ko tangata ke te mate pe ko tana kita ai o ko ko fatonu le aki ai ko ha me ta ke po po wai ki ai ho e mo ka inga ko ahoni ku talamai he folo fola ku ko vi nga hi aho ko mia ko ku le ha nga foka puri ki mia ki ta to lu mi ho ta ko mini community to nga ko uhi ko nga hi to koni o ku fai e e fa ai le pa ki ki ta to lu ko ka pasifika ka ha nge ku ki ta to lu ka to nga la hi au pita nga hi me o ku na ho nga om ko foka ba ba la hi pe ke fo nu a ko uhi ko ko ta wong foka fo nga ko ni fa le a ma hi no au pita au pita pe ke te au ya he kai te na la wa na wa wot ki he ke me a ko ni but the question is ko ha me a e ho ko ke ke na la wa he fo i to ko wa ke ta me te i fo i fo i la o ko ya ko fe hu i ko ha me a ku ta ke no fo ai mo po po ai mo te ke ai he fa ai le pa ka ri ko e ku ta u ilo ko ta ki ki ta to lu ke mala ia ta ki ki ta to lu ke he luo ta ki ki ta to lu ke ta me te So my question to you is in your opinion what is more important our faith as Christians or politics and if that's the case should we continue to support a party that speaks against our faith Well that like he he to ก็ก็ก็มาฟังก็ให้ก็ตุ้ยฟังกับคริสเตียนอยู่ที่เดียวโอ้ยก็มึงก็ยังต้องก็ให้อุ้ยงั้นก็ตะเกียบปูปูไ
Malo, Malo. Um, is there any last words that you would like to leave with the people regarding what they should view in terms of uh, how they vote, how they see things, based on our Christian beliefs? Can you speak to that? Malo, a bit of a Koi <laughs> Oku kobi ho tau ngahi aho i he kuongan. Ka koe haa ki tau karistiane ke ta tu o whai. Tu! Tu ke tau mate maa kalais. O me folofola ke he pule anga. Ta fuko tu ha me haka kai ke awe ki loto. Ke nau tataki ki tau tolu. Ke he mo ui whaka otua. O i kai koe mo ui. Anga hala. Pe mo i pule anga koe ni. Thank you very much. Can you... Conclude with a with a prayer. Just lead us in, in prayer, and we'll just uh, finish off. Tarot. Edo a maf maf ko mau tamai ta ngata afiona. Frafeta ilahi o mau lau mahari ki afiona fa inga mahari ko. Edo a ku afio mai mi hotaloni ki he to to i o ku mau fai. Ko hui be ke ave afiona ke fika ulwa ki afi to upe. Hafahinga mamani pe hafahinga community pe. Odo o mau lotu i hua fasi su fuka mo le mo le ala. Kai a uat ai lau mali mali o ne afio na fuka pulu pulu a ai tonga koto pe ai tonga ta mo fefine pasifika koto pe. Valita ta ai nau mo ui ke nau ilo pe nau a he ahon nau a fa he fili toton ko hui pe odo a ko pule anga o mau teu teu ki ai ai. Oku mau fuka ngo ngo ki hao hoko mai. Ta abu aku mai e polo kalama. Si aki nao dolu a nao dolu a e polo kalama ko eni o tuwa mau lot ki hafi o na fai ta apu ki na mea ngao ko eni. Tu ke hao atu a e ngai fika au kutoa pe ma faka loto lahi ki faka mama si o mau kakai. Loto mo huu mau fai i hua fa si su ko mau fwa mo ui. Klesi a e ki ko si su kreis o fai o tuwa fio he lau mali ma nyon. Fuma wa o ngai alo fai ki mau tolu ni. Fai pe ke tae ngata, pe tae ngata. Amen. Thank you very much, Celo. Thank you for joining us tonight. And um, God bless everybody. Ofatu. Oh,